Hello, welcome to this short presentation about some of the features of Support Pack MSROP. My name is Mark Taylor, I'm the author of the package. Just like some of the code in here, this presentation is a bit experimental. I hope you find it useful. The purpose of the remote admin component when added to the MQ Explorer is to add the ability to do many of the commands that you would normally only be able to do from the command line on the remote machine. We can now do it graphically from within the same admin interface that we do many of the other MQ administration roles. So let's start by looking at using the remote admin by adding a new server to the uh, tool. In this case, I'm actually going to add the local machine uh, to the Explorer, but that doesn't matter. We'll still be treating it as though it is a remote system, even though it's using the local host IP address. Everything that we're going to do to this machine is being executed across a remote communications channel from Explorer. It's not being done directly on the command line. So having added local host, uh, and we can give it a different nickname if we want, let's discover what's on the machine. I can see that there is one queue manager already defined, and there are two installations, both of MQ version 7.1. These are shown in the tables. Lots of things can now be done, but the first one I'll try is to add a new queue manager to the machine. So using an original naming convention, this will be QM2. I'm going to associate it with the second installation. The wizard looks very similar to the normal create queue manager wizard, but now it's going to run that command on the remote machine. And we see in the window the command that has been issued and a number of additional MQSC commands, which would have been the defaults in the wizard. Having created a queue manager, we can now do things like look at the error logs associated with it, look at its properties in the INI file, and so on. We can also start and stop the queue managers on the remote machine. Now I'm going to look at each of the individual installations. I can see information about them, which queue managers are on each installation, and when I browse the properties of those installations, I'll see the versions of MQ and all of its subcomponents listed. This sometimes takes a little while to run because it's collecting on the remote machine a number of diverse sets of information. So we'll see the window pop up in a moment. And here it is showing that I've got MQ71 installed in one place and also installed in a second directory on the same machine. There are many more things we can do with the remote admin component and plugins, but that should just be a taster.